Good. Okay. Mm. Mm. Y'all can come over. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all can come over. I'm missing one ingredient, and that was the heavy whipping cream, but that's okay. No biggie. It's still very flavorful, very good. Good morning. I feel like I'm always sick. I feel like I'm always sick damn kids and ain't nobody but Kaden because he don't want to be outside running around with no jacket on and just not listening and he comes home sick coughing sneezing stuffy nose and then rain gets it i gotta care for her obviously so here i am <sighs> so yeah i have like the watery eyes congestion and that's really it. I hope that's as far as it goes. So, um, I don't really feel bad. I just, you know, can't breathe that good out my nose. So, that's frustrating. But, um, good morning. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Chrissy J. I invite you to subscribe. I think you're going to like it here. Um, ring the bell so you don't miss when I do upload a video. And if you are returning a one day one, then you guys know the drill. Welcome back to another vlog. So what it do with the business is happy f oh Friday oh my goodness today is Friday y'all uh, I'm so glad we made it through the week one day to go so I'm wondering if I'm gonna work downstairs today or if I'm gonna just keep it upstairs in my office I probably will keep it upstairs in my office because Sean don't go to work till late and rain is a hot mess and loud in the morning so yeah I think my office is best I can usually get her to calm down when he's gone. Hold on. The girl is alive and she is well. Yes, I'm stuffy, but I'm still well. Gotta give him praise. But yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll probably work upstairs in my office. 
And then, um, like I said, it's raining. I don't know if that's gonna be the forecast for the weekend, but I don't see no sun in sight. So I'm gonna just take advantage of it being like this and try to get as much done as I can in the house. Although <clears throat> rainy days, I just wanna stay in bed all day. Watch me some good flicks on Netflix and eat some good food all day. So I just woke up not too long ago, so y'all have to excuse the, the way I look. I just made me some hot tea. I cut up some mangoes. Um, that mango salad that I made, y'all, was so good. So good. I just put salt, pepper, tajin, I think that's how you pronounce it. And um, I squeezed a half a lime and some vinegar. Shake that sucker up and it is good, y'all. Like, y'all should try it. But the cilantro does give it like another little kick. But yeah, so that's really it. I just wanted to just turn you guys on. Um, I don't know. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready to start my day. Do my daily devotions. Hopefully, I pray to God. Yesterday, like all week really, work has been swamped. Like I have been swamped at work. We've been so busy. I'm just hoping that. Today gives me a break. Like, y'all, stop getting upset. It's Friday. Like, stop getting upset. I'm like, are these people really wanting to speak to a manager? Or are y'all just getting them over to one? A lot of times, they're just getting them over to one. But then when they get to us, like, I be having people like, oh, they just came right on and said they want to speak to a manager. And I'm like, what? And then when I get on the phone, they asking something so simple. And I'm like, sir that rep could have damn sure answered this easy ass question like you don't need to speak to a manager for this so they just be annoying like I, ugh, they just be so annoying but yeah y'all let me not let me not complain i don't know what we have planned for this weekend sean is off um I might hit Adriana in them up because I'm not sure if they're free this weekend or not. So I'll probably hit her up today and see if they want to like come over and play cards or something like that this weekend. Um, but yeah, we're just going to be pretty much just taking it real easy, chilling, and just getting some stuff done in the house. We have to get rid of so much stuff in this house, y'all. We like hoarding stuff and just dragging stuff all over the place with us. Like, uh-uh. I want to get rid of stuff. I know when we first moved in here, I said that every three months I was going to purge, which I have stuck to that, but I'm, I only like purge our clothes and stuff. We need to purge stuff all around the house, like dishes that need to be getting, you know, thrown away or whatever, or take it to the wheel, old dishes, because we have like tons of like, you know, just too much of everything, too much of everything. I really want, like, a real minimalistic life. Like, I really want that life, y'all. I just want a little bit of everything. Everything to have a place. Everything to be in order. Everything to be neat and clean and organized. And just a nice, easy flow. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how when you go into, like, a model home and you see how it's, like, decor, um... And it just looks so beautiful because it's just, all you see is just the decor. That's how I want my house. Like, I just want it to be like, you don't see anything out on the countertops, laying all around. Like, you know, I can't explain what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I think y'all get what I'm saying, though. I just want it to look like a model home. That's it. It ain't nothing going on. You know, closets are neat. Like, I just want it to just look nothing. Like... Yeah, I know that's not super realistic because we're a family of four and then, you know, we have children, but that's cool. There we go. So I started using this CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser like for about two and a half weeks now. And y'all, where have I been and why I know I ain't put the girl on, okay? Because this year, the um, Neutrogena, it wasn't, it, it's just not doing what I needed to do and it was just... Drying out my skin. Y'all saw how my skin was peeling? So now this is doing it. 
it's keeping my face hydrated like it really really works so yes just in case y'all have dry skin like me and y'all were looking for something that's a little more you know hydrating try you some CeraVe I like it this one is for um normal to dry skin I'm sure they have like ones that's for people that have like oily skin and things like that but this one does the job so this will be my new um skin care regimen product my main one at least but yeah let me go ahead and do this and then i'm gonna um knock out some more claims i have to send some faxes to the doctor's office and do some just get some claims done y'all and then I need to um, finish planning out my content for the month because uh, I told y'all February was going to be a very busy month. It hasn't really officially kicked off yet, but it should have. It definitely should have. <sighs> so but I'm trying to think about all, all that we have to do because it'll just stress me out. But yeah. What a day. <sighs> what a week. Bump the day. What a week, y'all. Like, oh my goodness. Whew. Don't feel the best. Just because, you know, congested. But feeling like I feel fine. So I'm just going to push through. I really just want to get in bed and chill out. But <clears throat> uh, cleaning up these kids over here. Running around, driving me damn crazy, y'all. Oh, gosh. Part of me is like, well, maybe I should chill because this weekend I know we're gonna be doing a lot of cleaning and getting rid of stuff. So I'm like, maybe I should just like chill out for a little bit, you know? But I'm gonna just do it. So my slippers are in the dryer, drying. Hopefully they'll be done soon because I like my little slippers on my feet. I'm getting ready to put on my bathrobe. I just want to get like cozy and relaxed and these kids in here turned the hell up like oh I give it to people who be having all these damn kids yo I, I, I just don't know I don't I cannot I can't two is too many like I just cannot I look crazy but uh, it's comfy that's all that matters all right y'all at this point in time I'm just walking y'all around I ain't talk about nothing talk about that but i'm gonna clean up get rid of this stuff off this dresser i told sean when we get another a new dresser set and stuff like our dresser is not gonna be the catch-all i hate that our dresser is the catch-all it's both of us doing it. it's not like one more than the other it's just a catch-all for everything i hate it <sighs> so anywho i'm i'm not opposed to having a junk drawer though in the bedroom because we do have like things that we just put here and they may not stay long but it's just you know our clips you know it's like if we don't put them right back where they belong which we should <clears throat> then they sit there for a couple days <clears throat> over these kids anybody want them y'all can come get them y'all bring them right back what over again what's up y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm chrissy j you can call me crystal or chrissy whichever one you prefer if you are new to my channel i invite you to subscribe i think you're gonna like it here and if you are a returner a one day one y'all know the drill welcome back to another vlog what it do what the business here happy The girl is alive and she as well. You wanna say what's up, baby? What's up? Say hi, Jaybird. Hi, Jaybird. You wanna say what's up? What's up? Y'all know that's all Katie giving y'all. So it's cold as a manjika. That's Sean's word. Out here. So I'm trying to like warm up a little bit. But um, we got some errands to do. And then truth be told, we gotta get the pack in. So 
if you guys follow me on Instagram, y'all saw it first and then followed up on my community tab on Facebook, I mean on Facebook, my community tab on YouTube. We are moving. I have been holding it in y'all, okay? Like holding it in, I wanna make sure I secure my blessing first before I put it out there in the universe because not all energy is good energy, period. So we are moving, we're actually getting our home built and it is not going to be ready anytime soon. So what I'm doing now is taking the kids to just go to like the actual neighborhood. So as y'all can see, I wrote the kids through where the new house is being built. It's not built yet. I don't even think I foundation or nothing on yet. So um, I made the announcement today and that was because we got the confirmation, um, basically introdu introducing us to the, con the uh, construction manager who will be, be giving us updates on the house as it's being built. So I was like, okay, it's really real now. So like we've been on the contract for about two weeks now and I could have shared it then, but I was just like, mm, I need a little more shorty. I don't know. Like, it was just, I just needed a little more shorty. Because I'm not going to lie. It feels all so surreal to me still. Like, I'm just like, oh my goodness, we're buying a house. And not just buying a house, but like, our house is actually like being built. We're getting a new construction. Huh? You didn't No, I haven't yet. Oh, it's up here. You want the water? <clears throat> so... It's really exciting. And so when I got that email today, I was like, oh good, I can share it now. Like I feel comfortable to share it. I feel like I secured it. And I could, you know, let it be known. So that's what we've been working on, uh, which is why we've been so busy. Sorry for the lighting, y'all. Special came 100 calories. Um, I feel so stuffy. Like super stuffy. I'll probably talk to you guys about the whole process that we went through once we're in the new house but for right now we're gonna kick off the moving series we're gonna kick off the moving series um because we are gonna move out this house so our current house that we've been in for the last two years our lease is up in march and we know we didn't want to renew the lease obviously and at first we were like okay well we'll go to month to month what? our rent in here was already high Ooh, month to month Please. added another 400 dollars on top of it <laughs> so we were going to do it at first and then i was like bump that like we're coming out of our pocket so much you know like Mm -mm. So, I'm not, we can put this money into our new house because the new house comes with all of the major appliances except for the major ones to us. Um, it doesn't come with a refrigerator and it doesn't come with a washer and dryer. So, our, although we have a brand new washer, our dryer was bought used and it's going up. It's working still, dries the clothes fine but very loud makes a lot of noise oh and i was holding off on us getting a new one because i knew we were you know buying a house so at first i'm like oh we're gonna have a washer and dryer we don't need to do that but now we have reason but we'll do all that later like we'll probably end up bringing our washer and dryer just because like i said it does still work and then when it does go up, we'll just go out and get another, a whole new set. Because right now, I'm like, oh, it works. Like, our washer is fine. It's brand new. Not brand new because obviously we've been using it. But it's only like two years old. But anyway, y'all get what I'm saying. So, and the biggest thing that we have to do when we go in is make sure that we're going in with the refrigerator. So, we're going to probably start shopping for some refrigerators. As the time gets near, I'll take you guys with us, of course. But this is fun. Like... I, I actually really enjoy um, the process of like looking for houses. I love like all the different houses we were looking at. The process was extremely stressful and frustrating. Um, and then I just was kind of getting like real discouraged. Um, and so I was like, you know what? Let's just go with a new build. Like, let's just go with a new build and call it a day. That way I don't have to worry about going up against anybody with a bid and all that like I, I i i just didn't like that so 
So that's how we got to where we are. Um, and like I said, we'll talk to you guys more about that as the time, you know, arrives. So anyway, y'all, I'll probably do a whole other video because I don't want to make this vlog all about that. I just wanted to just let you guys know, like, you know, what's going on. Because y'all can be like, moving boxes, what's going on? So today we're getting boxes. We're going to come back and pack up some stuff this week. I don't know how much we're going to get done this weekend, but I'm really just trying to, like, do my goal is to do like five boxes a day like if i could just stick to that five boxes a day i could have the whole house packed up of course sean's gonna help me and everything like that but i'm just speaking on like during the week since i work from home i need to still be as productive as i can so when i got off last night i packed up three boxes i had one left but we ran out of tape so that's why i didn't meet my quota but five boxes a day i feel like that's a really good mindset to have and sean could have his quota be whatever it is if his is five that's 10 boxes a day we could be packed up in no time so we're getting rid of a lot of stuff like a lot of dishes aren't coming with us you know the only thing that's really coming with us like big is my glass end tables the gray couch set um and then like my canvases on the wall and stuff like that our bar cart and um the kids mattresses but we're gonna get them all new bedroom sets we getting our ourselves a new bedroom set like everything is gonna be new and eventually um i'll probably sell the gray couch and we're gonna get um a new furniture set but it takes time y'all you know to um decor a whole house so it's like it's gonna take us some time so i'm not gonna put too much pressure and i'm just like let's just come in with the necessities of what we need right away but that's what's what it is so y'all gonna see me vlogging from my mom's house starting Mommy, next month I need some water. and i said you got your cup right there right mm -hmm. so waiting for shy slow as i don't know what and then i guess we'll head out to get something to eat so i'll talk to y'all in a little bit park but it look like rain over it it's cold out here people got their damn shoes off shirts off like what is going on okay <sighs> but we just try to let her burn out some little energy she has and um the manufacturers of the park are here so they're around taking pictures of the kids and giving the kids target gift cards so that's cool rain will be on their website and then we're getting ready to go to walmart <laughs> I just don't want to be out here because I'm already sick and congested. I'm just like, ugh. But I know, you know, the kids need their time. So, Kaden is on the other side of the park um, playing basketball. And then me and Sean will come out here when it get warm and I'm tear his ass up in tennis. Y'all see? I mean, they got a tennis court right here. They got what? Uh, I ain't really a big ping pong fan. I want to do um, tennis stuff. Or what's the one in the gym that they be having where you hit it up against the wall that one room? Racquetball. Racquetball. I like that too. So y'all will see that. I ain't. They know. They know exactly what I'm Oh my goodness. <sighs> so yeah, y'all. That's what we're doing. We're just chilling and um, getting the kids some some kid time in. I ain't play with some little people because y'all know she don't do that often. So. And then we're gonna make our way indoors. Sean was wanting wanted to take them to the jump house, but I'm like, mm mm, not the budget we want. And we already just spent money eating, so yeah, that'll be like a hundred dollars a day. No, no, no. <sighs> but maybe once we move, we'll like pick an activity to do once a month. Everything else gonna consist of the beach, the playground, picnics. Like, you know, we could play together. <laughs> uh, we could have picnics, play kickball together, or something. I don't know, but. It's gonna have to be free stuff for us, cause y'all already know. But anyway, y'all wanted to just check in with you guys. I'll hit y'all back when we get, I don't know, to the next location. Hey y'all, it is much later 
and the day has gone and we ain't do nothing. We ain't get nothing accomplished in the house. We ain't packed not. I think Katie packed one box. That's it. <sighs> Sean and Rain sleep. It's 6 30. So I'm like laying there and I'm like, ooh, I want some mangoes. I told y'all when I when I like something, I'll be on it. I mean I've always made my mangoes like this, but sometimes I like go out without eating them. Then when I eat them again, I'm like, mmm, and then I get hooked and be on them. So we're getting ready to go get some mangoes. <sighs> That's what we're about to do. And I have no clue what we're gonna eat for dinner because we ain't take nothing out and uh, neither one of us are cooking anything. So we might just have to freestyle it. There's some um, bean burgers in there. There's, you know, just whatever. I'm not about to name everything we got. I do have still some leftover chicken, but it's breast and it'd be dry. It'd be dry. I don't really like my chicken though. No, don't try me. But um, whatever we do, everybody will figure it out. And yeah. We really need to get some stuff packed because I just don't have the energy and I know my cycle's gonna come towards the end of the month or mid mid to end of the month and I'm gonna be down well let me not claim that because Lord knows I hope and pray it's nothing near like it was last time I don't know what that was about I know it's a possibility that I could be down bad so <sighs> I just want to make sure I get as much done as I can before then because you know, if I go down, I'm going down. And I ain't gonna get nothing. Walking around there looking like we were so broke. <laughs> because I couldn't figure out what to get. I'm like, I know we're gonna want something to eat for dinner, but I didn't know what. So, my hair look a mess. I need to retwist my hair. Yeah, and we kept running into this one lady. She was like, I'm sorry. I'm like, I know we around here looking like we don't have it, but I just didn't know what to get. And I didn't want to just get anything just to get anything, you know? So we got green bananas, a pasta meal. What else did we get? Mangoes. Mangoes and cilantro. Cause that's the one ingredient that I be missing when I make my, my mango. Y'all the house look like we ain't going nowhere no time soon. <laughs> oh goodness, we got so much to do. So much to do. We could start moving stuff in storage on the 7th. So, yeah, that's literally like a few days. Y'all, I'm sorry. <laughs> my vibes, my vibrations are low. I'm not like sad or anything. I'm just, I don't have like a lot of energy. That, that's what it is. I don't really have like a lot of energy. I'm actually tired. I want to I wanna go to bed. And it's just one of them cold winter days. You know, like, it's really a bad day. I kind of wish, I kind of wish I would have just made today a bad day. Keep saying I'm not spending no more money. I'm not spending no more money. I'm done. So I want to be on Walmart today. Well, Sean gave me he, he's there on half of that bag. So that's what I got. They had like the little slim portion for $9.99 and this was $11.59. So I'm like, 
almost two dollars more. Way more. So figured what that up if anything. And then I picked up some green bananas. These are really good. Um, I like them boiled and I put some hot sauce on them or fried. If you cut them up real nice and fry them, they're so bomb. I like them fried better, but you know, health wise. And then y'all see me get my mangoes and cilantro. So that's all I got. I'm getting ready to cut up the mangoes and make my mango pasta. I mean, my mango pasta. Yuck. My mango salad. It's so damn good, y'all. Like I'm telling y'all. So freaking good. It gives you like a little bit of like sweet and salty. You know what I'm saying? Because like you put a little bit of the salt and it end up. I don't use a whole lot of salt because there's vinegar in there. So, but I don't go in on the vinegar. You know, you just want the vinegar just to touch it. But the salt, the pepper, the tarjan, however you pronounce it, and the vinegar with cilantro and the, and the lime, the lime juice. Ooh, ah. So good. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut up two of these. Because <sighs> I don't be feeling like shaving them. You know, that's the part. That's the part. So, let's go ahead and get to it. It look all beat down the ran through now, but I'm about to show y'all mushroom, ravioli, and steak fish. Oh wait, no, it's not steak fish. Tuna. Tuna. Oh, okay. I was wondering how it's straight like that. Okay, so it's tuna. Y'all see how it's straight? It's very good. Like I said, uneventful, unproductive day. <laughs> oh gosh. We gotta stop playing around like we don't gotta be out this house. <sighs> anyway, we're gonna get up early tomorrow and pack some boxes and stuff. I think we're gonna focus on our room and my office. That's where like the bulk of the stuff that needs to be packed is at. The garage. The garage is pretty much packed, you know? It's just stuff that we either didn't unpack or y'all know. The garage ain't really nothing. But like all my purses, all my jewelry and perfumes and lotions and all of that stuff. And then all my shoes. <sighs> God, I hate. I hate this part. And then what's very annoying about this transition is that we're not going straight into our home. We're going to my mom's first. We're going to pit stop there. So it's like I have to make sure that I, you know pack what we're taking to my mom's and then what's going to storage and then we gotta move all over again from storage into the house <laughs> so your girl is gonna be pooped I'm, i took off work though um our lease is up on the 6th of march so i took off work the 6th and the 7th but I'm trying to have us completely out of here by the 4th and then I want to clean in here by the 5th um we're going to just go ahead and hire professional cleaners to come in and clean it up and then um that way I can have two days to just relax and do nothing do nothing so that is the goal hopefully it works out that way but I'm not going to end the vlog here I don't think because I really didn't do a lot I didn't get a lot today footage wise so i probably will just pick you guys back up tomorrow so good night for now and see you guys tomorrow